Hey guys, get ready me for a wedding. Okay, just curled my hair really lightly, but it's 4.30 and the wedding starts at 6. Alright, I'm just doing some really light skincare because I already did skincare this morning and I just took off all my makeup during the day. Basically, this is my mom's cousin's um, wedding and I'm so excited. It's basically the whole reason why we're in New York City is because we're here just for their wedding. <laughs> I have my dress in the back. I'm going to put it on at the end and show you guys, but it's gorgeous. I just got it from Aritzia. Also, I already have mascara on. I didn't remove that because mascara is just such a chore and I didn't want to do my whole, like, eyes again. It's just so much work and I feel like my lashes never look the same after I remove it and then do it again. I literally forgot to bring concealer with me. This is all I have. This is an eye brightener, so it's not, like, full coverage. But it'll just have to do for now. And I'm just going to blend my finger because I also forgot a beauty blender. I was out and about in snow today and I met so many of you guys. It was insane. Thank you to everyone who came up to me. Also, don't be afraid to come and say hi. I see a lot of you guys like staring and like whispering. But like guys, it's super chill. Like I swear I won't bite. I love saying hi to you guys. You guys are so sweet. Anyways, oh my gosh, it's like a little heart. Um, What was I saying? <laughs> I leave New York City tomorrow, um, tomorrow night, I think. Like, time goes by so fast when you're having fun. I literally don't want to go back to school. But I might go back to Soho tomorrow. I love Soho so much. It's, like, my favorite place in New York. I also didn't bring setting spray with me, so I'm going to powder up a lot. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Powder Highlight for my nose and then my inner corners. And then the Charlotte on my cheekbones, and I usually go up on my eyebrow and I connect them together. And since this is like a special occasion, I brought this Rare Beauty like shadow stick, and it's just glittery, and I'm just going to put it on my eyelid. Oh, it's so gorgeous, and I'm just going to blend with my fingers. Recurling my lashes. Look at that difference. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to put my dress on now. Okay, my mom's just putting my dress on. It's really complicated in the back. No, mommy, it's not Fine, love. Oh, this is the back of the dress. Final touches. All right, this is the final look. Bye, guys. Let's get ready for the day. Layla's going. <laughs> but we're in day two of our little farm stay. I'm not exactly sure what our plans are for today, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yesterday was pretty chill, but we went to go see like all the baby animals. It was so cute. It is absolutely freezing this morning. I am so cold right now, but it's fine. I gotta get used to it. And I also didn't bring any long pajamas because I thought it would be like warm it's not but i guess it's because it's like surrounded by mountains and everything so it'd be colder i'm using this brush just to make sure it's all blended out because i'm using my phone as a mirror so i can't tell <laughs> okay now blush i am so excited for breakfast this morning i'm so hungry okay now into lashes and everyone kept asking me where my eyelash curler is from and it's the Shiseido eyelash curler from Mecca. It's amazing. It is so hard to curl my lashes without a mirror. But, meh, that's fine. I think I'm going to make a warm drink with breakfast. I was originally going to have some orange juice but, whoa, what's happened with the lighting? Um, but I think it's too cold for that. I'm thinking like a hot chocolate maybe for breakfast. It might warm me up a little bit. Oh my god, I did it again. I forgot my sunscreen. I just saw Layla's and it's up here. Oh, oops. Well, guess I'm not putting on sunscreen because I can't be bothered redoing all my makeup just to put on some sunscreen. Now I'm going to quickly put some eyebrow gel. I still have to do my hair as well. And I had to put on jewellery. Almost forgot about that. I'll do my jewellery whilst I remember. Normally I don't like to take out my jewellery when I'm going to bed or else I forget it in the morning but last night oh, I just could not get to sleep with my earrings in and like rings on and all that so I decided to just take it out. Okay, jewellery's all on. Now time for hair. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. What do you think? I could either wear my hair 
down because we're opening a bun. I'm doing mine and this looks like plaque. Hmm. You know what? But I'm going horse riding today. So yeah, excited. I can't because I break my toe. <laughs> but I think I'm going to wear it down. <laughs> okay, I just went into the bathroom and tried to drop my hair a bit so it's not all frizzy. I'm going to put on some perfume. And I think I'm good to go. I hope you all have a great day. Hey guys, get ready with me. Okay, I have like 15 minutes to get ready. And I don't know why, but there's like orange stuff all on my neck. Oh yeah, and I dyed my eyebrows and they are way too dark. But they won't come off. They're just like stuck to my face. But we're going to the shops because mum wants to get her nails done. But I got mine done not that long ago. Like they're fine. Like I don't need an infill. I just remembered I forgot my hyaluronic acid. But it's fine. I do not have time to like redo it. For some reason Mia said that she doesn't want to go. But I just put pizza and chips like in the oven. And now we're leaving. So when we leave Mia's going to eat all the pizza and chips. And then there'll be none left for me. But this is like our last week of holidays. But the... Second week of school, I'm going to go to Coffs Harbour for Harper's Fritty again. We're literally always going to, like, different places for Harper's Fritty. We went to, like, Townsville, like, two weeks ago. But, yeah, we've never been to Coffs Harbour, and I heard they have really nice beaches, which is nice because Townsville, they have, like, crocodiles in the beach. I don't know. My eyebrows don't look that bad on camera, but in real life, they are so patchy, like, at the, like, at the front. I don't know what's wrong with them. But I'm, like, stressing out to go back to school because we were supposed to have, like, this set plan interview. Anyways, I didn't end up going to the set plan interview because I went to Townsville and my mum like texted the school and like called them and like left the teacher a message and he didn't respond. So I'm really scared I'm going to get like in trouble for not doing my set plan interview and this pink form that says that I'm going to go to school next year. I forgot to hand that in as well. Okay, my mum said that she's going now. I just need to do this. I miss my lashes so much. I hate doing mascara. Okay, bye guys. Hey, bye guys. Hey guys, get ready me to go to block 40. Right, so I've never actually been to one before, but it's just like an event, party, like rave sort of thing. But I'm going with all my friends, so I'm literally so excited. I'm just mixing my primer and moisturiser, because I've already done all my skincare this morning, so I don't really need to put anything else on. And my eyes have gone like really sore and red, I don't know why. Okay, for makeup today, I'm going to put on a bit more, just because it is like a party. I don't even know what to call it. Me and my friends were all going to get ready together, but then we just decided we're going to get ready on our own and then all go together. I'm just mixing the Technique Pro Filter and then the Liz Earl Skin Tint. And then I'm just going to get a big fluffy brush and blend this in. I forgot to fake tan, so I'm looking like Casper the Ghost right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. And I haven't used this in a while, so I'm just going to use this. And I've literally got nothing left, so I think left, so I'm literally using the last bits. I'm just blending it out with my Zoeva brush. Hopefully it's a good makeup day, because some days I just, like, can't do makeup. I'm also just going to get a smaller brush and then do a little bit on my nose. I also don't actually know what I'm wearing yet, so I need to decide that. I've got options, but I just don't know what to wear. I'll probably just end up wearing one of my dresses, because I have quite a few options for them. If you don't spray your beauty blender with a setting spray, you guys need to start doing it. It's the best life hack. It doesn't end too late as well, which is good, because I've got school tomorrow, and I will not get up if it ends, like, really late. Okay, I'm now just going to mix both of my blusher ones together. I don't know how much to put on. Blend that out with a brush. It's Sunday, Sunday. I can't tell if this is blended out properly. What the hell? Okay, I'm just gonna set my I'm gonna set my under eyes now. I got these from Primark and they're actually really good to just like that. I might just add a little bit more bronzer because I don't really feel bronze enough. I'm also just gonna go with my liquid blush with some powder blush. I actually just remembered I forgot to wash my trainers as well and they're literally covered in mud. So I'm gonna have to wear some other ones, but I don't think they'll go with the dress I was planning to wear. Just blending this out with a brush. You literally need the tiniest amount of this stuff because it goes so far. On my cheeks, I just blend it out with my fingers. And then I'm also just going to add some in my inner corners. Okay, for brows, I'm just going to use my Gimme Brow and then put some clear brow gel over the top. Setting spray. I don't know whether to put eyeliner on or not. I might put some in my waterline. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah. I'm literally just putting it across my waterline. 
I can't tell if I like the eyeliner or not. I don't know if that just ruined it. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of bottom lash mascara. They better play good songs at this thing. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of lip liner. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add some of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip gloss. Okay, here's the finished makeup, and then I'm just gonna leave my hair how it is and then just comb through it. Right, I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll leave. Bye, guys. Get ready with me to do a no makeup makeup look to the gym. If you're trying to achieve that glowy skin, kind of like glass skin effect, then I've got the products for you. Starting off, I'm going to be using the Hydration Hero. This is from Glow Hub and it is a really, really good serum if you just want to get a bit more like actual hydration in your skin and like you feel like your skin is just too dry um, and you want that extra bit of plump to the skin. Oh my God. Just to add an even more plump and shine to my dull, dry skin, I'm then going to be using this, which is one of my favourite moisturisers ever. I really like a gel moisturiser. I think that's how I can achieve a really glowy makeup look, but also a really nice skin effect on for everyone else. So this is literally like gel. It's so good. Um, but I'm going to be taking quite a bit of moisturiser just to ensure. But this smells incredible. And I'm just going to rub this in everywhere. What I love most about this moisturiser is the smell and also the products it uses in it. You have peach, coconut, but also hyaluronic acid, which is great for acne scarring, but also to really, really hydrate your skin and make sure that you have no spots. Now I've used that, I'm going to go in with this, which is the Defend Yourself SPF. This is sun silk and it is so good for sun protection. When out and about, even if it's rainy, you need to make sure you're wearing SPF. It doesn't also help acne scarring, but it also really, really helps when it comes to keeping your skin very, very refreshed. Just gonna take a pump of this kind of all over and just really make sure that I'm blending this all over my face to ensure I'm getting the proper SPF protection I need. It's also really quick and easy to kind of dissolve and match the colour of your skin because I hate when SPFs keep really white and make you just look really super pale. But with this one, it's really, really easy to blend in super fast and look. I look the same colour again. It's an extra step in your skincare routine, but I promise it's the most important step that you could ever do. Then for one of my favourite concealers in the world, this is actually a really good concealer. I'll tell you why. This concealer has got tea tree in, which is really calming for your skin and also a really, really good way to help clear acne. It's got white willow bark and also salicylic acid. I always ensure that I'm wearing salicylic acid somewhere in my daytime routine. But whilst using concealer, you're also actually ensuring that this product is very, very good for your skin instead of one that's going to clog your pores and make your skin worse. This is actually going to help your skin in a very, very cool way. I just love the packaging and also this bit here is so cool in. So I always like to kind of take it under my eye like so. I think it's so cool. As you can see, I've just put it anywhere. I've got blemishes and also under my eyes to ensure that I've got brightened under eyes. The main reason I love this concealer is because of the consistency of it. It's a really, really nice consistency and it does not go cakey, but it also ensures that your skin is still achieving that glass skin effect. Another thing I love is that it smells so good. You can really smell the tea tree, which is just in incredible for a concealer. Like who thought a concealer could smell good? Not me, never me. My top tip is once you've kind of blended it out um, with a brush, I always like to dab it with a beauty blender after just to ensure. It looks perfect. And as you guys can see, this is how I achieve a no makeup, but a little bit of makeup look, but to achieve that very, very glass looking skin. You can shop all these products now using Glow Hub Beauty. I'll leave a tag down below for you guys to go follow them. But yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend to get your hands on them now. and I hate waking up late so let's do uh, things I hate. The first one is entitled people like you are not above anybody in this world. When you're in school and then like your teacher leaves early so other classes have a sub for them or they left and then they come back late so your class is the only class that doesn't have a sub for that class. The next one is people who don't have their own opinions like they always follow either your opinion or their other friends opinions like just think for yourself sometimes. When two people are doing the same thing, but people only choose to hate on one person for doing that thing. Like, they're both doing it. When I'm in school, just doing my work, and then I hear people's conversations, and the words get ready with me get brought up. 
I'm going to try the Fenty Ease Drop, but only as a concealer today because I don't want to do too much makeup. I'm going to tell my friends something I'm excited about, and they're like, that's it. Or like, yeah, well, I'm doing, and then they say something that's better than what I'm excited about. Girl, I don't care. Like, only certain of my friends do this one, but when I'm telling, like, a collab that I got, and, like, I know I can't experience collabs, but, like, I'm excited about it, so I'm going to tell somebody about it. But when my friend goes, can you stop bragging? Like, I wasn't doing that. I was just trying to tell you something I'm excited about. This one irks my soul, but it's people who can't get over ending a friendship or a relationship. Mostly friendship. Because if we're not friends, why are you worried about me still? It's been two years, girl. Popular people. And hear me out, because, like, some are nice, but, like, some are rude. And some also have no personality. Like, what are you doing? Teachers who flirt with their students, like Loki. Or teachers who just try way too hard to fit in. Like, stop. People, but especially teachers who throw out, like, subtle racism. So that other kids won't notice if you try to speak about it. But you know, like, it's like... <sighs> I got this yesterday, so I'm gonna try it too. Basically, a lot of my stuff that I'm using today, I've, it's new. People who can't stand honesty. Like, if the truth hurts, then the truth hurts. But except people who don't like you behind your back but love you to your face like i can tell who you are and if you don't like me then fine but just don't love me to my face wait i thought this was overhyped but it's so good and the last one is people who don't know how to keep a conversation because it's like i just i can't keep talking at you so that's so great by the way okay that's all have a great day i love you so much bye